In this video, I show you how to calculate portfolio variance and a portfolio standard deviation that is a portfolio risk. Investors uh, normally invest in different financial assets to minimize their risk. In the sense, uh, the portfolio is created with an objective that by investing in a multiple securities from different asset classes like uh, stocks or uh, fixed income securities or mutual funds or holding a cash. Uh, they can minimize their risk, that is one. And second is that within a, a particular asset class, let, let us say that uh, investing in a stocks. So in a, investing in a stocks, if uh, we combine a stocks with a different uh, uh, industries, like uh, some stocks from uh, information technology, some from pharma and other stock from uh, FMCGs. Likewise, if you diversify your uh, portfolio, in this is by combine, if you combine more securities into your portfolio, you can minimize your risk. The factors that influence in risk minimization is one is the individual stocks variance and then what is the weight or the proportion you invest in each individual stock and very importantly the co-movement between these two stocks. Uh, let us say if you have a two security portfolio now the co-movement between two stocks will play an important role. A portfolio variance uh, very importantly depends on the co-movement between the stocks in the sense if uh, you if you combine uh, two stocks with a positive correlation or a positive co-movement then both uh, if uh, one stock giving you a return then the other stock will also give you a return and if one stock variance is high other stock variance will also be high while creating a portfolio you need to look at the covariance or co-movement between the stocks if the stocks have a minimum uh, co-movement then the impact of one stock will be less on the other stock and if you have uh, if you create a portfolio of a two stocks with a inverse relationship then if one stock increases the other stock will decrease so this way by making a different combinations of a weights as well as a different stocks with uh, a different uh, uh, co-movements or correlations you can try to minimize the portfolio variance there are two equations which we use to calculate the portfolio variance. In this video, I will show you uh, the first one. In my next video, I will show you the, the second one. Here are the expected return, expected variance, covariance and weights of a portfolio of a two stocks. So based on this, you need to calculate portfolio return and a portfolio risk. So as you know, to calculate the portfolio return, return on a portfolio, this equals to weight of A times uh, return of A plus weight of B times return of B. Here A is a TCS and B is HUL. Then uh, weight of A is 0 0.28 times uh, 24 plus 0 0.72 times 16. And this equals to so your portfolio return is return on portfolio is 18.24 percent now uh, i'll uh, write a formula to calculate the portfolio variance so variance of a portfolio this equals to weight square of a variance of a plus weight square of b variance of b plus 2 into weight of a weight of b then covariance between a and b using this equation we calculate the portfolio variance now the, i guess this is similar to your a plus b whole square excluding covariance of a b all are the same now here as you know the weights weight of a is 0 0.28 square and here variance is a given variance is 14 plus 0 0.72 into variance of uh, stock B that is uh, HUL is 8 plus 2 into 0 0.28 into 0 0.72 into covariance between A and B that is TCS and HCL is 4. So our portfolio variance will be 0.28 raised to the power of 2 into 14. Then uh, 0 0.72 raised to the power of 2 
into 8 then 2 into 0.28 into 0.72 into 4 so if we sum up all this then uh, 1.0976 plus 4.1472 plus 1.6128 variance of a portfolio is 6.8576 and in portfolio risk so risk of portfolio standard deviation of portfolio equals to square root of variance of portfolio so this equals to square root of 6.8576 so standard deviation of a portfolio is 2.62 so this is how uh, we calculate the portfolio variance and the standard deviation in my next video i'll show you another method of calculating the portfolio variance and a standard deviation